everyone, I am Nidhi from Edureka and I welcome you back to Edureka's YouTube channel. In today's exciting session, we will talk about two CSS frameworks that is Tailwind and Bootstrap CSS. But before we get into the details, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on latest tech content from Edureka. Also remember to check out Edureka's Full Stack Developers Master Program. This course covers essential web development technologies including front-end tools like HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, Angular and React, as well as the back-end technologies such as Node.js, Express.js and MongoDB for database management. With over 200 hours of interactive learning and capstone project, you will gain a practical experience to become proficient full-stack developer. So you will find the link to this course in the description box below. So now let's outline what we will cover in this video. First, we will start with the brief introduction of both frameworks and why this comparison matters. Then we will dive into the bootstrap understanding, what it is, how it works and why many developers prefer it. Thereafter, we will discuss the Tailwind CSS, how it differs from bootstrap, its utility first approach and why it's gaining popularity. Once we have covered the both frameworks, we will compare them side by side, discussing the key differences like design philosophy, customization, performance, learning curve, and community support. After that, we will talk about when to use Tailwind versus Bootstrap, helping you to decide which one is best for your project. After that, we will focus on pros and cons of Tailwind and Bootstrap CSS. And finally, we will wrap it up with a conclusion giving you a clear answer as to which framework might be a better choice for you. So let's get started. Bootstrap and Tailwind are both super popular CSS frameworks but they take completely different approaches. Bootstrap gives you pre-built style components for quick development, while Tailwind offers utility classes for full customization. So which one should you use and which one is better? In this video, we will break down both frameworks, compare their pros and cons, and help you to decide best fit for your project. So stick around till the end. Let's have a look at what is Bootstrap. Bootstrap is one of the most widely used CSS frameworks for a good reason. It makes web development faster and easier. It comes with a set of pre-built design components like buttons, models, and grids. So you don't have to write CSS from the scratch, you can just add a class and you get a fully styled element instantly. For example, if you need to add a button, instead of writing the custom CSS, you can simply use this. Bootstrap also includes a powerful grid system that makes responsive design a breeze. That's why it is a go-to choice for developers who want a quick professional looking UI without spending so much time on styling. But while Bootstrap is a great for speed and consistency, it does have some limitations, especially when it comes to deep customization. So now that we understand Bootstrap, let's move on to the Tailwind CSS and see how it works. So Tailwind CSS is utility first class framework that takes a completely different approach compared to Bootstrap. Instead of providing a pre-built component, it gives you a utility class to build your own design from scratch. For example, if you need a button, you don't use predefined class like Bootstrap, instead you combine multiple utility classes. Let's have a look at this example. So another cool thing about Tailwind is its just-in-time compiler, which generates only the style you need, making your final CSS much smaller and optimized for performance. So now that we have compared the Bootstrap and Tailwind, let's dive into the key differences between them. Choosing the right framework depends upon several factors. Let's go through them one by one. So the first one that we have is design approach. Bootstrap comes with pre-style components like buttons, forms, models. Everything is ready to use. You just add a class and get fully polished UI instantly. On the other hand, Tailwind doesn't give up pre-built designs. Instead, it provides you utility class that lets you to style everything from scratch, giving you a complete design freedom. So we have already seen an example that to create a button in Bootstrap and Tailwind. So if you want ready-made styles, Bootstrap is way to go, but if you prefer complete control over your design, Tailwind is better. The next one we have customization. Bootstrap is great if you want a standard clean UI without tweaking much. You can customize it, but it requires overriding styling. Tailwind gives you a full control over the look of your site from the start, making it a perfect for unique designs. So if you want quick styling, Bootstrap is win. But if you need complete creative freedom, Tailwind is a better choice. 
Next we have is learning curve. Bootstrap is easier for beginners because everything is freestyle. You don't need to write much in CSS. Tailwind takes a little more time to learn since you have to get comfortable with utility classes. But once you do, it can be faster and more efficient. So think of it like this. Bootstrap is like pre-made meal. You just heat and eat. While Tailwind is like cooking from scratch, you control the ingredients, but it takes efforts. So if you are just starting out, Bootstrap is simpler. But if you are willing to learn, Tailwind can be more powerful in the long term. So the next one is performance and file size. Bootstrap comes with lot of built-in styles. Even if you don't use them all, this can lead a slightly larger CSS file. While Tailwind's just-in-time compiler removes unused styles, making it lightweight and optimized. So for better performance and smaller file sizes, Tailwind is a clear edge. The next one that we have is community and ecosystem. Bootstrap has been around for over a decade. So it has a huge community, tons of documentation, and many third-party themes. While Tailwind is newer but growing fast, with tools like Tailwind UI that can help to accelerate the development. So if you want a well-established framework with tons of ready-to-use components, Bootstrap is a great choice. But if you want modern, customizable approach, Tailwind is the future. So now that we know the key differences, let's talk about when to use Bootstrap and when to use Tailwind. So first of all let's cover when to use bootstrap. If you need a quick and responsive design, bootstrap's pre-built components make it easy to create a fully functional website without spending time on styling. The next one is if you're working on projects with the tight deadlines, if you need to deliver a clean UI fast, bootstrap is way to go. Next one is if you are beginner or working with a team of non-designers, since bootstrap comes with ready-made styles, even developers without strong design background can create professional looking websites. The next one is, if your project follows standard UI patterns, you are building something like dashboard, admin panel or corporate website, Bootstrap provides a solid structured design. So if speed and ease of use are your priority, Bootstrap is a great choice. Now let's move on to when to use Tailwind. The first one is, when you want complete design flexibility, Tailwind lets you to build custom UIs without being restricted to predefined styles. The next one is, if you are working on highly unique or creative projects, if you need a unique branded design that stands out, Tailwind is a better choice than Bootstrap generic styles. The next one is, performance is a major concern. Since Tailwind's JIT compiler removes unused styles, it keeps your CSS file small and optimized. So next one is, if you prefer writing CSS within HTML, Tailwind's utility classes lets you to style elements directly within your markup reducing the need of external style sheets. And the last one that we have is, if you are building a scalable project, Tailwind works well with the large scale applications where maintainability and customizability are important. So if you want control over your styling and lightweight optimized framework, Tailwind is way to go. So now before we wrap up with the final verdict, let's take a quick look on the pros and cons of both Bootstrap and Tailwind. So now first let us start with the Bootstrap pros and cons. Let's focus on the pros first. So the first one that we have is quick and easy to use. It has pre-built components that saves your time. So the next one that we have is responsive by default. After that we have large community and documentations. And after that we have is ideal for beginners. It is easy to learn with a minimal effort. Now let's move on to the cons. So the first one that we have is it is less flexible. It has larger file size. And the last one that we have is, it can look generic. That means many bootstrap websites may have similar appearance. Now let's focus on the pros and cons of Tailwind. So in the pros we have, it is highly customizable. Next one that we have is lightweight and optimized. That means JIT compiler removes the unused CSS. After that we have is faster development in a long run. So once you master the utility classes, styling is efficient. After that we have is great for unique projects as it is perfect for custom UIs and creative designs. Now let's move on to the cons. So the first one we have is steeper learning curve. That means it takes time to get used to utility classes. After that we have is no pre-built components. That means everything has to be styled manually. And at last we have can clutter the HTML. That means with too many utility classes it can make the code harder to read. 
So now that we have compared the pros and cons of both frameworks, it's time to answer the final question, which is truly better. So the choice between Bootstrap and Tailwind CSS depends upon your project specifics. So Bootstrap is ideal for rapid development with pre-built style components making it accessible for beginners and suitable for projects requiring standard UI patterns. After that we have a Tailwind CSS which offers greater design flexibility through utility classes resulting in smaller optimized CSS files which is beneficial for performance focused projects. So consider your project's requirements, timeline and desired level of customization when choosing between these two frameworks. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment down any of your doubts and queries. We will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka's channel to learn more. Happy learning.